Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time Year B, and it's also the first Sunday in the month of October 2021. Father, we give you thanks for making it possible for us to see this day. May your name be praised now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our gospel reading today is from the Gospel of Mark chapter 10, from verse 2 to 16. The topic for this day is a direct statement from the mouth of Jesus Christ. It is titled, What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. The Lord is talking to somebody, What God has joined together, don't put asunder. This message is for somebody who has prayed and God has answered you. To the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. The Pharisees came to test our master on the issue of divorce and marriage. The Pharisees relied on the law of Moses, which allowed divorce on the issuance of a certificate. But Christ told them and his followers, including Christians of today, and also you that is hearing this message that in the beginning god made man and woman and ordained that they should live together as husband and wife divorce was allowed in the old time because of sin and the hardness of man's heart but now with god's grace and power of the holy spirit marriage is for life but now with god's grace and power of the holy spirit marriage is for life marriage is till death do us part are you hearing me marriage is for life it is till death do us part so christ declared that those god has joined together let no man put asunder those that god has joined together don't put asunder This means that no human being, man or woman, is permitted under God to cause a separation between a man and his wife. Brothers and sisters, hear this again. God has declared that no man, no woman, no human being should cause a separation between a husband and a wife. Don't put asunder. God is talking to you that is breaking home do not put asunder husband stick to your wife that is the message even if the price is costly hear me again husband stick to your wife even if the price is costly wives stick to your husband even if staying appears tough and costly even if it is so hard it's so costly it's so tough for you the Lord is saying, stay put, don't go, don't divorce, don't come out, don't separate because of God. The Lord will give you grace to carry on. The Lord will give you grace to undergo whatever you are going through. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. No external party is allowed to put asunder between these people that God has joined together. In the same way, and much more no internal party either husband wife or children is allowed to put asunder between those that god has joined in matrimony those who are not married also have a lesson to learn from this message if you have come to god in salvation through sacrifice of christ it means you have been joined to christ so don't try to break your relationship with god Are you having problems in your marriage? Are you thinking about divorce? Are you consciously or secretly trying to cause separation between people who are joined together by God? I tell you, that is not the way to go. Yes, there may be problems, there may be challenges, but there is no problem that God cannot solve. 
don't harden your heart. Husband, do not harden your heart. Wife, do not harden your wife. Let me not hear you say, over my dead body will I reconcile. Over my dead body will I make up with him or her. Submit your lives and marriages to the God who was in the beginning, who made them male and female, who alone knows what we are going through. He will surely see you through in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That God is still God of the now and he will remain God even in the future. To the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that God will restore marriages that are at breaking points. Yes, 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 yes. Those marriages that are break at a at a breaking point now. Hear me. The Lord will not allow anyone to put asunder on your marriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you that your marriage is having issue. May the Lord the God of restoration, restore peace into your marriage now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you that is thinking about divorce. Cease fire. Take it out of your mind. Let peace reign in your heart. Let peace reign in your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord, you are the restorer. I pray that you restore every broken home. Every marriage that is passing through any challenge right now, hear my voice. May the God of restoration restore you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover your marriage with the blood of Jesus. I cover your home with the blood of Jesus. Husband, please forgive. Wife, please forgive. Let peace reign to the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Happy Sunday and may your day and your week and this month of October be a fruitful week and month for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.